As a Colorado alum, how do you feel when you hear, see, read that Michael Irvin is the one out front trying to get Dion to the Dallas Cowboys? I mean, if I was... Listen, I was out front trying to get Dion at Colorado. So if Michael loves the Cowboys, like I don't blame him, right? He's 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 doing what what he should do if he loves but that organization. But do you believe Dion? Do you believe Dion when he says, "Hey, my kickstand's down. I'm staying here. I love it here. They got good recruits coming in uh, mm-hmm. because they're going to have to replace a couple of you know top five talents." But do you believe that if the Cowboy opportunity were there? No, I don't know. I don't know. I know what he's told me. He's never, he's never lied to me. I talked to him through the process of, of getting hired at Colorado. You know, I was, I was in, involved to some degree and every conversation I've ever had with him has been incredibly authentic and honest. That's that. And that's all I can go by. I asked him last Friday, do you want to go to the NFL? And he looked at me and he said, no. And I said, why? And he said, because I don't feel like I would be fulfilling my calling and my purpose if I was there. And I asked him to expand on that. And he said, listen, my, my calling is to impact young men and be a mentor to young men. I happen to do that through coaching. And I feel like I can do that better at the college level than I could with a bunch of professionals that might listen to me and might not listen to me because of the amount of money that they're actually being paid. Now, like take from that what you will, if Dallas makes him a great offer and his son is there, like, could he go? Yeah, of course, of course he could go. Do I think that he desperately wants to? I I don't think that that's the case. So if the opportunity arises, Dan, could he coach the Cowboys? Yes. And I think he would probably be really successful at it. Um, I also think, know that he loves being at Colorado and I won't be surprised at all if he stays there. Yeah. I I don't know if that's the end all for him. Um, I understand that. I understand what he's saying. He can be full Dion in college. That's right. Probably can't be full Dion in the NFL. Well, and and think about it too, like in college and this is going to, this is going to forgive the language here, but, uh, or the description, you can be kind of a mini dictator as a head coach. Like you are the top of the totem pole in college as the head coach. You're not in the NFL. You know, you're third at best in terms of personnel and ownership and, and everything like that. And, and part of what's unique about Colorado, and, and I know this because of, of my involvement, is that Colorado kind of said like, hey, hey, man, here are the keys. You can do whatever you want with the uniforms, with the traditions. Like, like this is this is your vehicle. So as much as Colorado was desperate for a guy like Deion Sanders and Deion specifically, you know, Deion needs a place like Colorado to be authentically himself. You know, and and so I I think that what you're saying there, there's a lot of truth to that. 